as a product designer at Easy as Pie, a company specializing in storage containers. Your group has been assigned the job of designing a new eco-friendly package for Magic Beans. Your boss has only given you one requirement. The new container has to be a cylinder. What does a cylinder look like? It's like a can. So I, hold up. Let me give you a general statement. If I have 50 of you yelling at me, am I going to be able to hear? So we're going to raise our hand. And Claire, you have the ball, so go ahead and throw the ball for me. Don't hit me in the head. Can of chicken noodle soup. It's like a canned chicken noodle soup. Now, for our cases, we're not going to have a top on our cylinder, but we need to have a bottom. Is a tuna can also a cylinder? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. It's okay. Just splatter. Splatter. All right. Here are your materials. Every group is going to get a bag that looks like this. You have a ruler. You have scissors. You have a compass. You have glue. You have a pencil. You're also going to get two sheets of white drawing paper. And then there is tape up here on this. I just don't have enough tape to give every single group one. So if you'd rather use tape instead of glue, you may come up and grab pieces of tape. But please remember that that needs to last all day. So don't just grab a huge long thing. Just grab a couple of slices and we can help you with that if you need. So Miss Russell, can we have two more than two pieces of paper if we mess up? No. <gasps> Whoa. Hardcore here. All right. The catch. Here's the catch. Hey guys, let me give you a heads up. The more time you spend talking, the less time you have to do the activity. And the activity is getting done. So if there's not as much time for pie at the end, that's on you. Okay, so just something to think about. So here is the catch. The container needs to fit all of the beans without spilling over. These are the beans that need to fit in your container. Eh, no touching. Okay? These are the beans. Okay? So it needs to fit in the container without spilling over, but there shouldn't be any wasted space at the top of the container either. The group that designs the container with the least amount of wasted space at the top will win the challenge. When your group is finished with your storage container, you're going to bring it to the bosses, aka your teachers, for field testing. If your container does not meet the standards, you will get a second chance to improve your design. Are there questions? Yes, Arnon. How many beans are there? Lots. There are lots. You may examine the beans however you want. Yeah, do you want to tell them about jobs in their groups? Yes. Okay. All right, so now, in your groups, you are going to have to assign jobs. So you're going to have one person who is the measurer. So you can use the ruler, compass, whatever you have to measure. Okay? One person is going to be in charge of estimating how many beans so that you can figure out how many beans can go in there. One person needs One person needs to be in charge of folding so that we can tape. And there was another one. Oh, one person has to come up with their final prototype Bring and then the be group. able to give the group feedback about we need to cut down on space, we need to add some more space, whatever. That's so like one person, because I, like Miss Russell was saying, Miss Thompson and I, Miss Thompson and Miss Russell do not want to have 50 people all wandering around this classroom. We just want to have like one at a time. So one person in your group will measure, one person in your group will bring your prototype, your first prototype up, and then be able to give feedback to the rest of your group about the cylinder, what you need to modify. Make it fatter, make it skinnier, make it taller, make it make the make the diameter a little wider, whatever. Ooh, diameter. <laughs> yes, Claire. Is the competition based off of who finishes first or no? Nope. No. No. Just the most what amount of wasted space. The least Previous slide, I could have went back to that. Okay, so the group that designs the container with the least amount of wasted space, it is not a race to be done first. I would rather have the least space, even if it took me until the end of the class period, because I'm, I would still win. So we're going to measure it, and we'll keep, we'll keep a list of what your measurements are. And um, then you have your chance to improve it if you want. You right. only have two pieces of paper, though. So I would think that the first piece of paper could be for my first design. And if I need to use the second piece of paper, I could use some of it if I need to make it taller or whatever the second time. But you only have two pieces of paper. So you don't have two pieces of paper for each try.
try. Mm -hmm. You have two pieces of paper, period. Also, okay, when you do the test, um, do you actually put your beans in there? Good we question. Are putting, yep. We are putting the beans in your container. And we'll so measure with the ruler the distance from the top of the beans yes. to the top of your container. So, but there's only one person that's coming up for Ms. Thompson and I to pour the beans in and measure. So, I'm going to pour the beans in, Ms. Thompson's going to measure, we'll record, and then we're going to pour the beans back out, and then you go and finish your design. It's the white jar that you guys use for math. Oh, with the paper, does it have to have like a bottom on the cylinder? Or something? It has to have a bottom. And well, yeah, bottom. Yep. It has to have a bottom. Right. You can make a top if you want, but we'll just take the top off to measure. Right. right. Yes. Are you putting the entire basket? It needs to fit all of the beans. Without spilling over. Without spilling over. Okay. Yeah, what do you do to make it efficient? All right. So I need. One person from each group to come get your materials, and the rest of you can be kind of thinking what you want to do with the design. Now, 